2020 Smith Family Backyard Ninja Course race has ended in a tie. Are you ready for the rematch of the century? That's what we have in store today on Fun Sized Adventures. We're here at Fun Sized Adventures headquarters in Bucksport, Maine. You remember earlier this year, the Smith Family Backyard Ninja Course race ended in a tie, which has never happened before, when Ethan and myself tied for first place. And today we're gonna have a rematch. So we have myself, we have Ethan, but this time we also have Cal who is off the injured list and he is gonna compete today and he's excited to be part of the race. We've remixed our course so that we have a different setup than last time. Let's take you through the course. The course is gonna start off up on top of the end of this bench. You gotta run down, climb up, get down the bench however you want. If you wanna slide, if you wanna run, whatever you wanna do. Then you're gonna run over to the hula hoop. Stand in the hula hoop, take the Nerf gun. You have 10 rounds to knock those cups down. You get five seconds off your time for each cup you knock down off the table. After that, you're gonna run up to the tree fort, come up the bridge onto the tree fort, go across the ninja line, then the slack line, then the zip line. When you reach the bottom, that's the finish line, and we'll see who can be our champion today. Cal's up first. What does he have to say for himself? I got to win. On your mark. All right, he's on the starting go. block, and there then he's off. He climbs up onto the top bench with ease and runs down. Oh, ninja kick off. That's great style. Heads over, gets the gun. He's taking his time, getting it sighted. Oh, crouching down for extra stability. Oh, and he hits two cups down, first try. And he decides to call it good, not go for that third one. And he heads up the slide like he's been doing it his entire life. He's going across the tree fort. Oh, the gloves have come off, people. The gloves have come off. He means business today. Now, this is what he has trouble with. He's not very good with the rings here. Oh, no, he's struggling. Oh, he's falling off. So he's going to get a 10-second deduction for falling off there. Let's see if he can stay on for the rest of the course. He is shimmying across that slack line with ease. So far, he's making great time. All right, he's reached the tree. Now he's just got to squeeze through, get on that zip line, and ride it to the finish. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, had some trouble getting his butt on the seat. But he has made it. One minute and 15 seconds. He's going to get 10 seconds taken off his time for knocking down those two cups. But then he's going to get that 10-second penalty, which is going to bring him right back up to 115 for his final time. Our second competitor is going to be Ethan. Let's see what he thinks about competing in this cold weather today. So I hope I win, and I'm winning. It's a cold day, and do you see how my I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win. All right, he is up on the starting block. There he goes, and he's off. That first part of the course, everybody's handling with ease. All right, he's got the gun. Let's see what he does. Let's see if he takes to Calvin's techniques. Oh, a miss, another miss. Oh, there he goes. He knocked down two as well and opted to not go for the third. He's picking up the pace up the hill, trying to make up some time. There he goes. That tree fort is hard to navigate with all the junk that they left in there, but that just makes it even more of an obstacle course. Oh, he slipped on that ring. Oh, but he's back on track. This is really where Ethan shines, is the monkey bars. He spends all day just hanging around, hour after hour. Shimmies across the long pole there. Can he get that ladder? He reaches for it with his leg, and he's got it. All right, he's swung across. Next, he is up onto the slack line. Seems to be making great time so far. Maybe even a hair behind Calvin, but he hasn't got a deduction yet, so we'll see how that plays out. All right, he's reached the tree. And he's ready. He's going to jump on. Oh, he's hesitating a little bit. Oh, he had trouble getting his feet up too, but he's on the zip line. What's his time going to be? 119 is how long Ethan took to finish the course. And let's see. He knocked down two cups, got no deductions, so he's going to minus 10 seconds, which is going to bring his final time down to 109. Our final competitor is going to be the father of all competitors, Jeff Smith himself. Let's see how he feels about competing against people a fraction of his own age. I'm pumped for this course today. I think I'm going to take these kids down. It may be a cold and chilly autumn day here today, but the competition is about to heat up. All right, Jeff's on his mark and ready to go. And he's off. Does a little Johnny Depp run down the, down the bench there. Gets over to the over to the Nerf gun. He fires. He misses. Oh, he gets two down. Oh, but he's going to continue going for that third cup. 
Will he get it? Finally, he gets it, but it seemed like he took <laughs> more than five seconds to get that five second deduction, so I don't know if that's gonna help him or cost him in the long run. All right, he's trying to get up the slide without breaking it. If you remember in our last competition, he nearly broke the slide trying to climb up it. All right, now this is another part that Jeff struggles with because he's too tall and his feet hit the ground if he goes the normal way on the rings. So he's got to take the three-toed sloth technique, like he's straight out of the jungle, and work his way across. After a lot of practice, he's gotten pretty good at it. Every now and then it gives him trouble though. He's making it- oh! Did you see that? His shoe has fallen off. Jeff Smith's shoe has fallen off. He's managed to get across, but now he's, he's- what's he gonna do? He can't go back. If he touches the ground, he'll get that deduction, so he has to finish the course with one shoe. This has never happened before on our course. Alright, he's got to the tree, he's squeezing through, he's squeezing through- is he stuck? It looks like Jeff Smith is stuck in the tree. He's got to get out of there and finish this course. Oh, he looks like he's out. And he is on, zipping to the finish line. What's his time going to be? One minute and 36 seconds. Jeff's time is one minute and 36 seconds to finish this course. He got all three cups for 15 second deduction, which is going to bring his final time down to one minute and 21 seconds. All right, so that's going to put Ethan as first place in our competition today, followed by Calvin, and Jeff is in third place. The kids have become the leaders. That means that we are finally ready to crown a winner in our 2020 Smith Family Backyard Ninja Course race. Thank you to all the competitors for competing at the highest level, and thank you everyone for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already, and we'll see you next time on Fun-Sized Adventures. Until next time, get out there and have a fun-sized adventure of your own.